Hey guys, it's me Skelly here and today I just wanted to do an extremely quick video on how to make a glitch transition in Shotcut. So I am currently using Shotcut version 19.09.14. I think this will only work in this version since there's some filters that aren't available in earlier versions, but uh, that's just what I think. I, I, I can't recall, but yeah. So, firstly, what you'll want to do is you'll want to get your Let's videos into Shortcut. So, you can do that by getting your videos from your file explorer and clicking and dragging them into this preview area over here. Click them and drag them into there, and then click and drag into the timeline. Let's so, especially once you've done that, what you'll want to do is you want to zoom in. You can do this either by using this slider here. Or what I like to do is press and hold control and then move the scroll wheel up and down. And by doing this, I can zoom in and out. So now once I've zoomed in nicely, what I'll do is I'll try to center the playback head. So this white line here, try and center this right in between the two clips. And then press the, depending on your frame rate, so if it's... If it's 60 frames per second, you want to press the left arrow 10 times. If it's 30, press it 5 times. So this is 30 FPS, so I'll press it 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then press S on your keyboard to split. Then go back to right in between those two clips and press right button 5 times on 30 FPS, 10 times on 60 FPS. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now I have two little chunks here of the video. As you can see here, on the first video, what you want to do is you want to go to the filters tab. If you don't have this, then you can go up here to the top, click on filters and it should appear there. If you don't have this toolbar up here, go to view, show toolbar and make sure that's enabled. Then press filters and now make sure you highlight the first little chunk here and then press this plus button here in the filters. What you want to do is you want to search for glitch and then click on glitch here. Set all these sliders all the way down and then what you want to do is with the playback head on this little chunk you want to go to your keyframes. So this is where your keyframes is. If you do not have this then again up here in the toolbar click on keyframes. If you don't have the toolbar view make sure show toolbar is enabled click keyframes etc. So once you're in the keyframe section here, move the playback head all the way to the beginning and then click on these keyframe buttons right here at the beginning. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then drag the playback head all the way to the end. And then put the frequency all the way up. Put the block height at about 15%. You can put it high if you want. Put the shift intensity all the way up. And then color intensity, I also recommend you put this all the way up. Now on here, you'll do the exact same opposite with what you did in the first one. So again, make sure you've highlighted the second chunk here, put the playback head on the second chunk, and then in the filters menu, press the little plus button here and search for glitch, like so. Again, put all these sliders to the bottom, Go to keyframes, if you haven't got that, click keyframes up here, if not, view, show toolbar. And then drag your playback head all the way to the beginning. And then what you want to do is you want to match the settings from the end here. Match these settings here with the beginning of this. So drag this all the way here. This is 100, this is 100, this is 100. And then if this was about, about that much. So once you've done that, click on all the keyframe buttons here to enable keyframes and then on the keyframes timeline here, drag the playback head all the way to the end and then put these all the way at the bottom. And there, if I go through it frame by frame, you can see we have a nice glitch transition. Especially if that's not enough for you, that's fine. We can add even more filters such as noise keyframes. If I can find it. There you go. Noise keyframes. On the first clip, 
make sure you've selected it and then add noise keyframes by pressing the plus button here search for it and then you know the drill put the, the amount all the way to zero then go to keyframes with the button up here drag the playback head all the way at the beginning in the keyframes timeline make sure this is at zero and then press keyframes button then click and drag the timeline scrubber the playback head all the way to the end and then put this all the way up and then here do the opposite so I'll add here noise keyframes put all the way up at the beginning and then at the end put it all the way down now if I just cut this up remove this remove this we should have a pretty nice little wait a little transition so let's see just save it I already had another one of this from earlier from when I tried to um do it just for proof of concept so we should have that here show in folder play Especially. 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 there we go we have Especially. nice transition Especially. so that's how you do that and uh yeah if you enjoyed this video then please make sure to subscribe and like and yeah this is one of my quick ones if you liked it then yeah thanks for watching and bye